Do you like red eyes? Do you like food that tastes abnormally good? Do you like the smell of burning plants? And do you like to smile? Well, chances are you like weed. Cannabis seeds have dated back past the 13,000 BCs. I'm talking about Egyptians getting high off their loving minds. No wonder we can't figure out how to build those pyramids. But this is no history lesson. Let's get to the breakdown of the effect of weed has on your body. So how does this plant get you high? Well, we all know that the chemical in cannabis that affects the brain is called THC. Now, THC stimulates the neurons in the reward system to generate a pleasurable feeling. But what is the part of cannabis that affects your body? Smoking cannabis does have a negative effect on your lungs. You see, there's this thing called tar. You know that thing on TV that fucks up all the cigarette smokers out there? Yeah, that thing? Well, not only that, but breathing in the smoke from the pipe and bong, you're burning the plant at a high temperature, and inhaling that can cause irritation to not only your lungs, but also your throat. Now you may be saying, damn, this is only the first thing I'm already fucked up my body that bad, but don't worry little Tim Tim, I got you. The negative side effects of smoking weed can be controlled with just a few different things, like changing what you smoke in, like a vape pen, and practicing deep breathing lung techniques. And also, smoking cannabis is not connected to any kind of lung cancer. So that's always a plus. Now that we got that out of the way, we can work into the real juicy part of this video, the brain. A lot of studies have shown different conclusions on the true effects that cannabis has on the brain, and I bet studies will continue to grow as more of the population starts to smoke and more research is done. Until then, you have this video, so good luck. When you inhale cannabis into your body, the smoke's gonna travel around until it reaches and fucks up your mind. Now I'm not gonna say if you take one hit you're gonna be in an addictive mess on the side of the road until the very next day. In reality, more or less the world around you is just going to start to feel just a little bit better. Now the points on your brain that we know it does affect is your reasoning and tension skills, your ocular pressure which kind of helps create those glorious red eyes of yours, and the short term memory loss. Now the effects of reasoning and your attention is debated quite frequently and personally I'm not too worried about it and I don't think you should either. Now the memory game loss, that's a different story. There's been some studies that shown higher chances of people getting Alzheimer's and personally that's not something that I want. But those numbers were not very high. High, and honestly, I think there needs to be more studies done to get a firm conclusion. My final thoughts of the effect of weed on your body? Smoke that shit if you want to. Don't drive while you're stoned for everyone's safety involved. But I'm not going to say you're going to be any less dumb than someone who doesn't smoke. And actually, in some cases, you gain some IQ points, so that's always a plus. There are some negatives when you smoke cannabis, but that's with any kind of smoke. And by eliminating the smoke, you eliminate the damage that's done to your lungs. Easy as that.